Hello, today I'm going to do the on my shelf tag again because I had fun doing it last time and I think I only got through like three books and that's obviously not all of my books and there's more stories to tell. <laughs> that sounded really, really cheesy. First coordinates are 223. Uh, I kind of want to stand up. <laughs> and that book is All of the Above by Juno Dawson. This book I got for free and it is signed. I got this book for free because George Lester did an interview with Juno and at the end of it George basically said leave a comment and I'll pick some winners who can win a signed copy of the book and I did and I won it and it came to me on the first day of Vlogmas because it's in that vlog that I go and pick up the parcel. <laughs> okay next coordinates are 329 and that book is Breakfast on Pluto by Patrick McCabe. This is a book that's already featured on my channel because I read it back in March? I don't know. It's in a reading wrap up anyway. Yeah because I had to read this for university. I did a module called... I don't know what was it called? <laughs> I don't remember what it was called but basically the module entailed reading books and then analysing them with a certain theory. So like you could do a queer reading of this or a feminist reading of this and blah blah blah. We were only meant to watch the film. Actually no, it might not have been only meant to watch the film but on the reading list the film was listed, not the book. And I, when I googled it, discovered it was a book as well and I was like well I'm doing an English degree, I'll read the book. So I read the book and watched the film and they are kind of different. I thought I was going to enjoy this a bit more but um, it was kind of hard to read because the chapters are like some of them are very short and it jumps about everywhere and sometimes my brain can't handle that but yeah that's the story behind that there's not really much else apart from the only reason i picked this up is for university i feel like that's going to be a theme of this because a lot of my bookcase is just university reading lists you can always tell when i'm restarting university because the book haul will be ginormous and in the thumbnail it's just me attempting to hold this massive stack of books next coordinates are oh five five you'll never guess what but it's another university book this is waterland by graham swift and because it's another university book it's already featured in a reading wrap up so you can check that out to see what this is about and i don't really think i've got a story behind this one just that this is the only book so far in my time at university that i didn't have finished before I attended the lecture on it. I just didn't finish this one in time and so I had to go to the lecture without knowing the ending. But this is the only book that I've done it with so far. All of the other books out on my reading lists I have had read before the class, which is a lot better than people. So next coordinates are 3 and 11. Ooh, this is a poetry book. This is Chasers of the Light Poems from the Typewriter series by Tyler Not Gregson. This book I got for free and I won it in the Penguin Platform monthly competition thing that they do where they give out all of the books that are coming out in that month. I haven't read this cover to cover, I've kind of just like flicked through and read odd poems. They're poems written on a typewriter so this dude found a typewriter and he just puts like scraps of paper in it and types a poem so they look interesting. I like this book for the aesthetic. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think I've, there's a story behind it just yet, just that I got it for free from Penguin Platform, which is always nice to get free books. Also, I really like the font that typewriters type in. I do know the name of it, but I can't remember it now because you have to write scripts in that font. Ah! Okay, the last coordinates are 5 6. This is Boyer by Jonathan Tregel. I read this one not too long ago, about October maybe. Again, another university book. Is there any surprise? <laughs> this is a pretty beaten up old book. I have only read it once, I didn't do this to it. This is pretty old because it came from a library, it's an ex-library book. I guess that's the story behind this, is that I like worn books. A book that actually looks like it's been read is kind of cooler than a book that's like in pristine condition. Although like sometimes I have mixed feelings, sometimes there's certain books that are just too pretty, but then this you can tell it's been through a lot of hands and a lot of people have enjoyed the story so I do like seeing a book a little bit broken <laughs> and this one definitely is but this is a really good book I recommend it and that's all the books I'm going to talk about today thanks for watching please like and subscribe and all that stuff and I'll see you guys later